Hello and welcome back to my channel Best of Everyday Life. Today, as a treat for my family, I decided to make an easy cake with strawberry gelatin and whipped cream. If that is something you would like to do as well, then stay tuned. I will list all the ingredients in the description below. First, prepare strawberry gelatin according to the recipe on the box. Mix it well to make sure that every gelatin particle is being dissolved. I am adding up cold water with ice to speed up the cooling. Then place gelatin in the refrigerator. Take a mixing bowl. Combine eggs and condensed milk. Mix everything together. Now add sour cream. Melted butter. And vanilla extract. Then mix everything together. Next, sift in flour and baking powder. Mix everything together. Take half of the cake batter and put it in a baking sheet covered with a parchment paper or baking mat. Then stretch butter out to cover baking sheet evenly. Bake it in an oven preheated to 365 Fahrenheit for about 5 to 9 minutes. All depends on your oven. When it will be done, take it out and cut it in half and set it aside to cool. Repeat the same steps with remaining part of cake batter. Take each half of the crust and make sure that it is even by cutting off extras. Put one pack of gelatin into a bowl and add one half cup of water. Mix everything well and let it stand for 5 minutes. Then put bowl in a microwave and microwave for about 20 seconds or until it liquefies. Do not boil it. Let's prepare a whipped cream. Pour heavy whipped cream into a bowl. Take a bigger bowl than I did. My bowl is way too small and I realized it way too late. Now mix it. Add powder sugar. Now it is time to add gelatin into a whipped cream. Take your prepared gelatin and pour it slowly while mixing. Our whipped cream is almost ready. Next, we are going to prepare syrup, which you will use to moisten the cake layers. You will need to do it for each layer before using a whipped cream. I am going to skip the part, because my family requested drier cake. 
To prepare syrup, mix all the ingredients together until sugar dissolves. First use syrup and then add whipped cream layer. As you remember, I'm skipping the syrup part, so I'm just adding the whipped cream layer. Try to create even layer with whipped cream. For the top layer, use just a little bit of whipped cream just to cover the layer very thinly. Then put the rest of the whipped cream in a baking bag. We are going to try to create whipped cream borders on the cake so that we could put strawberry jello right in the middle. I'm creating a very tiny strip of the whipped cream and then I'm gonna go over it a few more times. Creating borders from just a whipped cream is much harder than with butter. Eventually, I had to use some toothpicks in order to hold the structure so I could put cake in the refrigerator. I put my cake in the refrigerator for just 5 minutes to let a gelatin in a whipped cream to set. Right after 5 minutes we could put jello in. Look at the consistency, that is the perfect one. It's gonna create this perfect top layer. If your jello is too hard, you can microwave it just a little bit. Now we can take off all the toothpicks, fix every corner, and let's push this whipped cream wall into the jello. Now put it into the refrigerator overnight. It is finally time to enjoy our creation. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me. If you liked my video, please leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to push notification button so you will get notified when new videos will be uploaded on my channel. Follow me on Instagram. I wish you the best of everyday life and I will see you soon in my next videos.